Major Slack Videos. Hey, welcome back to Major Slack Videos here. First stop for titillating tactical Elden Ring gameplay. We're about to take on the what's it called the Divine Beast Dancing Lion boss fight, which is the boss fight for the Belurat Tower Settlement. I keep wanting to say Belarut, as in Belarus. It's Belurat. Yeah, here we are in the Belurat Tower Settlement. And the boss fight for this particular area is the Divine Dancing Frickin' Beast. <laughs> dancing Lion. Okay, no, it's called the Divine Beast Dancing Lion. Um, some of you who have subscribed to my uh, No Commentary channel have already seen me do a full moon strategy on it. Um, what? You have a No Commentary channel? Slack? Yes, I have a No Commentary channel. A brand new No Commentary channel. Currently a hobby channel. Go check it out. It's called STFUN Game. There's a link in the video description to that boss fight. I did that maybe about a couple weeks ago. I'm going to use the same strategy, except after a lot of experimenting, I think the full. Or I think that the demi human ashes are going to fare better than the mimicked here. Honestly, they they grab uh, the dancing lion's attention a lot more, and they they hold his attention a lot more. They they fare pretty good. And I'm gonna go with the full moon strategy. I'm. This is at the end of my no damage run through Bellurat, so I have like a whopping half a million runes to spend. I'm gonna spend it all on strength. Oh yeah, and I can upgrade this guy too. Um. This guy I'm gonna switch out for opaline hearts here. Flask. I'm gonna finally start using flask and go with seven and seven. Seven and seven, just like the drink. Chest, I'm gonna take out all the um, talismans that I store just to make it easy. Now I want them all. And I want the this shield here. And they should be able to use it. Oh, here. Didn't level up strength yet. There we go. Okay, strength up to 24. And you should now be able to use the Dragon Claw Shield, which is the shield that has the best lightning protection. Check it out. 76 lightning protection. I don't think that's going to get any better if I improve it. And I'm not sure if it's worth improving. Because this is pretty damn good. But we're gonna go with this. Alright, so. Everything must go. How do I dress Sabrina, Mr. Laptop? Mr. Laptop says, put on Hoslow's helm. Hoslow's helm. Malformed dragon armor. This is going for like the best lightning protection. Malformed Dragon Armor. The Your mileage may vary. Mesmer Soldier Gauntlets. Also another thing to consideration is to stay in medium load. Mesmer Soldier Gauntlets and the all knowing Grease. I got three of these? Oh, okay. Alright, and the Carrion Regal Scepter. I think I'm going to put this on just for backup, just in case uh, the dancing line gets really cheeky and gets up in my face and corners me and I can't cast any spells. At least I'll have that. And uh, Gold Scarab, Arsenal Charm, plus one. Definitely the Bolt Drake Talisman, plus one, and the Dragon Crest Shield, plus two. Sorry, that's the Bolt Drake Talisman, plus two. Alright, so this will give us lightning protection of 62 and physical protection of 64. I've also got one, or I can make one, of the super powerful lightning proof pickled liver. Damn, scorpion liver is so hard to come by. They do not. The drop rate from spider scorpions is incredibly low. I would have thought that they would have, um, anyways. So I got one. 
here I'm gonna put the gold pickle file foot. I'm gonna go all full moon. Maybe a little bit of night comet, but all full moon. Um, I got some money to spend now when I lose it. I believe uh, the gentleman down here at the foot of what's his name? Moore. Moore. Welcome. Moore. He has some rune kings or rune arcs for sale. And I have some stuff to sell. Great, I can buy two more. Never have enough few rune arcs. Still got seven thousand. Um <laughs> I'm gonna buy one of these, I know it's just I swear I've been trying to farm scorpion livers and it's just a pain in the arse that yeah, I'm gonna buy one of those. Um I'm gonna buy one of these too. And I'm gonna buy 10 fire arrows back on the mainland. To help replace some of the fire arrows that I spent on the ulcerated tree spirit. That's it, I have three runes left. I have nothing to lose except rune arcs. That's my build. I can roll. And in order to use the skill, I'm gonna have to two-hand this. That might be awkward. Um, this is, also has a skill. See, it might be worth upgrading the shield just for that. I don't know how effective the shield bash is going to be on the Dancing Lion. I'm hoping to beat it with Renella's full moon. Alright, let's go give it a shot. Okay, we are as ready as we are ever going to be. The only other thing is wait until nighttime so that so that my demi humans just go into full ape shit mode. Because as you may or may not know, they are much more aggressive at night, which is what really worked. I just did a run with them and it was nuts. They went after the dancing lion like you, you wouldn't believe. So that's it. That's my build. I'm not gonna call up Freya because that's gonna like um, make us earn less money and actually makes the dancing lion have 50% more health. So, um, even though it's a lot easier altogether with her. But yeah, that's what I'm going with. And I'm going to turn this on over to Gamer Slack. And he's going to run the fight. And um, MC Dub Slack is going to do the commentary on top of that. All right, so Gamer Slack, take it away. All right, Gamer Slack is down there in the trenches behind the gun. And MC Dub Slack here in the rear of the gear on the microphone. Um, this did not play out as I expected. Looks like. Um, the time I used my demi humans and they did really well was just a fluke because this time they got clobbered. So, uh, despite what I said earlier, I think you should go with your mimic tier or um, some other really tanky spear dash. beast from higher sphere delivered. Take root inside the tower sculpted keepers and perched within. We beg of thee, rise. Dance and cavort, cleanse all the whole wind. Cruelty, woe, and those who 
to plague the town. Cleanse away this trumpet's fire. Okay, so I'll go the demi humans. And they just get lamb basted. And I'm still um going to try to do the full moose strategy that is spam as many full moves as I can while the demi humans distract him. They're pretty good at distracting him, but um I'm I'm positive that the dancing lion is tweaked to go after you most of the time. Because I've experimented with many different Spirit Ashes, and it seems like he just tends to ignore your Spirit Ash and come relentlessly after you. Most of the time. So, as you can see, I only got like two or three full moons off, and as you can see, he's just coming right after me. Even though I gave, I gave him lots of little playmates to play with. And so now I'm cornered, and I've decided to abandon the full moon strategy, switch to the Great Stars with the Savage Lion's Claw and just go full on Savage Lion's Claw which actually turned out to be a quite effective strategy so I'm just spamming uh, Lion's Claw and it has good um, stance breaking abilities that skill so it was a sweet finish actually I'm glad I did this eventually my demi humans are gonna bite the biscuit And I think I got a bleed on this one. Yeah, I got a bleed on that one. And my demi humans are gone. Check this out. I knocked him out. And a crit to finish. This was so sweet. This was so. This was my best dancing line boss fight. Not like, you know, the one that yeah, came out like with the least used flasks, but just like the most, you know, kick ass. Finish off with the crit. Take a bow there, Sabrina. Outstanding, outstanding work. Get your case of beer for that one. Alright, so that's it. Basically, full moon strategy with the great stars. Savage Lion's Claw to back up, and I end up using the backup. There's the Divine Beast head. We're going to trade that into the Horns Tank Grand Dam NPC for a reward to do that first thing next video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, um, please give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. Alright? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.